Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today on Excel Tips and Tricks, I will show you the group and subtotal feature in Excel. Here I have a set of data containing the student enrollment details of a university. You can see the student's name, the gender, nationality, age and the program enrolled details in this Excel data. By using the grouping feature in Excel, you can make your data more manageable. For example, if I want, if I don't want to show the age information on this uh, data set, all I need to do is select the age column, go to the ribbon, go to the option data and select on the feature group. Now you can see by clicking on this minus sign you can hide your data. Also you can bring back the information again by pressing on the plus sign. Now let's move on to the second feature that is a subtotal option in Excel. It's basically a grouping function itself that helps you to summarize your data. It has the basic mathematical functions like sum, count and average. For example if I want to get the count of students enrolled for different programs in the university, all I need to do is select onto the group enrolled column, go to the data option, select onto group, click group, then in the column drop down, select on program enrolled, click OK. Now you can see the program enrolled column is arranged in an alphabetical order. The next step you have to do is go to the data tab. Here you can see a feature called subtotal. Click on the option subtotal. Make sure your selection is on the group enrolled. And the function you use, need to use is count. Then click OK. Now you can see that Excel has grouped your information based on the program enrolled data. You can see, I will minimize the Excel window so you can see it more accurately. You can see all the student information is now breaked up based on the program enrolled. You can see the count of students who are enrolled for different programs. Here you can see on the leftmost uh, corner you can see an option called different levels. You can see level 1, level 2 and level 3. Level 3 brings the complete information and if you go to number 2 you can see it's, it's, it has gone to the second level which shows the complete information of the count of students who have enrolled for different programs and the first one shows the total count of students who have enrolled for the whole programs hope you like my video thanks for watching see you next time bye bye